not represent La More Media versatility, that of any broadcast networks utilized, its advertisers, or sponsors. All content is subject to copyright and may not be reproduced in any form without prior written consent by La More Media versatility. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts and guests of Colorful Voices of Sisterhood are for general public information and entertainment purposes only. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Colorful Voices of Sisterhood. We'd like to thank our viewers, our followers for your continued support. And please don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, and share. Well, Happy New Year to all of you. And Happy New Year, sisters. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy another year. Yes. yes. 2024 already and a fresh start. Fresh start. Yes. Yes ready for some big plans this year mm -hmm. so what did you guys do for new year um, we always it. like watching the ball drop that's always fun you know, family get mm -hmm. together playing games staying yeah. safe staying yes. safe yes. staying yes. inside yes, yes. Stand staying safe. inside so mm -hmm. did you eat a lot of good food because last time we were talking about Healthy living. So, no. did you guys keep that? <laughs> no. Maybe a carrot or two. Yeah. No. Yeah. Maybe maybe think... one. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it was you good. know it's not the Christmas dinner. Then you got New Year's dinner. You know. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Lots of food. Yeah. yeah. You're tired of cooking and being in the kitchen and making big meal after Thanksgiving. I don't think you can use to right. cook uh, a lot of meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. in our, our culture, they say always eat fish. Um, for smooth selling, you eat um, collars for um, money. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely, we ate fish because we want smooth selling. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the money is just gonna come. Hopefully. I love Hopefully. fish. I love salmon. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so seafood good. is my favorite. I can eat all of that. Me too. All so all sea creatures. Do you, <laughs> do you also air fry your see, some of your yes. seafood? Yes, because yes. I know the last. Uh, yeah. Topic we had. Yes. I can try the air fry with fish. Oh, please. Oh, I, I, does this I smell stay in have it? Oh, How's look, that go? Let me tell oh. you. I, I cannot wait to cook, to cook for you guys. Mm -hmm. You just, you have to try. I swear. You will see differently uh, how I make my fish. Mm -hmm. But in air fryer? Yes. Okay. Is I'm your head like, on or oh, your head off? Let me tell you. I don't cook no. with my feet. No, I'm saying the fish. Fish head. The fish head. Fish head. The fish eyes and nothing like that. No, oh, the eyes is the best. You have to eat. You will have no. the beautiful eyes. I'm just fine. <laughs> She's in my feet. I want to talk about some fish. Okay, let's dive into your eyes. I don't know. It's the one thing I do. Everything I touch. Everything I touch it is good. I believe it. It's my head. It's my head and my heart. I believe it. I, I cook. When I do, I do. Out I, of I, but I see what you posted on Facebook. Though. Those are, it looks yummy. I yeah. mean, the, the presentation is really good. Thank yeah. you. It's like a top-notch restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's coming soon. <laughs> to to <laughs> men. Yeah. Are you go. Too? Oh, yeah. You know, you can even do it where some people don't like to cook. You can just call them and say, hey, pick up the meal on your way in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, I will, you know, probably pay for something like that. Let me start yeah, with you guys. Let yeah. me start with you guys. You guys be my first customer. Then we can move to the next. Okay. How about that? We will be your food taster first. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what. There you go. Time. You guys are my future investors. So that's why I'm inviting you guys <laughs> to my <laughs> future customer. <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I don't want you guys to fight over. No, Fatia, I'm going to go full-time invest in you. Not them. So you always talk about it, but do you have do you have a timeline 
really when you are you going to start mm -hmm. you know what honestly i was thinking about that uh i was talking to lamar i said i have to and diana earlier i just have to i have to jump mm -hmm. i means that i have to take a risk mm -hmm. means, mm -hmm. and i have to quit my uh my job and you know it takes time i already have believe it or not i have the the plan i have the menu everything it's just i have to just find jump. an investor just and all that it. yeah yeah sure. and take a risk go ahead and do it well, before april 26 we can bring on a bond and die yeah. 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 yeah get your get your customer base yeah. set yeah. yeah but if you got a plan go present it to some investors you see this is what um so I, I used to go to business, uh, what they call um, uh, coastal. Mm -hmm. And uh, also I teach um, as a guest chef in culinary art college, mm -hmm. a student in East East Africa food. Um, it, yeah, I just, I really have to put every, like everything I get to follow uh, this path. Mm -hmm. You need to get your plan, your timeline set mm -hmm. and just follow it. Yes, I have to yeah. do that. Oh my. Well, today we got a good topic. Talk mm -hmm. about civil rights. You know, it's mm -hmm. January. You know, obviously we know we celebrate yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, this mm -hmm. month and he was definitely a civil rights yes. activist That's my and uncle. Made, made changes. <laughs> yes, he's made changes. Um, but I definitely want to talk before we roll into that, definitely talk about um the comment that um former President Trump made about um immigrants. The 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 immigrant poisoned the blood poisoning of our country. The blood which of was our one country. that they said Hitler pretty much said the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's yeah. dictatorship. And to me, immigrants are are the blood. Mm -hmm. Not poisoning the blood. Are the blood. Are the blood, yeah. Well when you think we, about the immigrants, you know, coming in you know, we have the Irish, we have the, the Spanish, we have Germans, Asians, and, and and Asians. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just so many immigrants that are here and are getting along, a blended family. Don't forget got, his wife. We got oh, his wife is an immigrant. His children, they yeah. have. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the country is really built on immigrants. Yes. So for him to say that comment, it just baffles me. But really, I'm thinking he said south of the border, so he's being specific. But I think, uh, yeah, uh, everyone loves to come over here in America mm -hmm. because it's really it's the land of opportunity. It is, as they say. But I think what he's talking about is people who are coming here. He's talking about the illegal, illegal people. Mm -hmm. Um, that comes especially in the south border. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talked so many times in our topics before about fentanyl, drugs, sex trafficking, but the South border is really one of our problems too. Mm -hmm. so you but I think um, it's not just South though, it's the North. When you think about 9-11, they came from the Northern border uh -huh. when they came and committed atrocities. So, so that's my thing is, if you're going to talk about the border of our country, talk about the border of our country, the waterways. Waterways where the drugs, drugs yes. are coming in. The northern border is where, you know, um, the Taliban came in mm -hmm. um, and changed our history drastically from that in three incidences in the, that morning of September 11th. And then, but it's always the focus of the southern border. And to me, when they focus on the southern border, they're being specific as far as I take it as a color of their skin is what I'm taking it as. Um, and being from this country, um, not immigrant, um, most of you guys know I am Native American. And when you talk about North America as a whole, the indigenous people have been here for for centuries. Yes. And that includes our, our brothers and sisters south of the border. Mm -hmm. When there was no border, mm -hmm. they can easily cross back and forth. Texas belonged to Mexico at one point. You know, the Louisiana Purchase was a big purchase that the United States made at one time. So when we draw this imaginary um, border there, south of the border, 
um, where it's easy to cross back and forth when they got family on one side or the other. To me, I think he's intentional and specific on who he's talking about. Yep. Um, and that's what I have a problem with. If people want to talk about the border, the security of the border, let's talk about the security of the border. Um, north, the waterways, and the waterways are huge yes, because the waterways is the biggest border we've got. And to me, that is where the drugs are coming in. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some coming from the north and the south, but that waterway is too big of a border to... To stop anything. To just stop anything. Um, it can be anywhere, you know? Yeah. North, south, mm -hmm. east, west. Yeah. But I really but, want to mm. pay attention to when he said um, poisoning the blood. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I got an issue with. Because all people, no matter where they're from, are good people. You yeah. know, whether you're black, purple, pink, red, you name it. Um, and to can say somebody's um, poisoning the bloodline, that is what just... What do you mean by that? I think that's where um, I'm taking it as we got bad blood, is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Some people has got bad blood. Uh, I think he's one of them. Mm -hmm. And if you look in history, the people that he's using and take care of his hotel, they are those bad blood that he hired and he paid them for low. And his wife, she's immigrant, which is his son. He's he's blended. Mm -hmm. So who he's really specifically he's talking about? Well, so, we should have just pinpoint the one person like President, you know, former mm -hmm. President Trump. But what about those people? before him, before he became a president. I mean, come on, let's talk about performances too. Like for example, here we go again, South Border. Mm -hmm. He did really good with that. But then after his presidency, what's President Joe Biden did at first? Mm -hmm. First day, he reversed all his policy, see? but. But that's no, the same no, thing no, that the, Trump the, the did South, with, uh, the with Obama. Obama. That's, uh, that's, the South that's, board, that's the know. same thing that he did he with did President with Obama. Obama when he came in. He reversed stuff. He come up with policies that he never come up with health benefits. So if you want to look at it, look at it all. Don't look at him because he all he did to me is that racism come out. Yes, He made it where people can hate people just based on the color. Well, look at it. Because you're, you're singling that like one thing. Look at this whole thing that Trump did mm -hmm. versus Jane where the sense. Come on now. Well, and my thing about the the border, because um Agnes brought up a good point on um how it changed. But one thing that happened during that Trump era, which it affected so many mm -hmm. immigrant children, was they put them in camps. Yes. They put these children in camps, they separated them from their parents. Yes. We had it thousands upon thousands of people living in makeshift camps, camps. like there were prisoners. Yes. We are Animals. talking children. Animals. Children that was taken from their parents. Now, granted, they didn't go anywhere, but it still doesn't mitigate the point that we were still taking care of them. Right. We were feeding them. We were housing them. We were clothing them. But the bad thing that happened was those children were removed from their parents. When a child is removed from the parents and at such a young age where they can't speak the language, they can't say what's happening to them, they can't, um, you know, they're crying for their mom or their dad. To me, that was an atrocity. That was a shameful thing that we, and I'm going to say mm -hmm. we right. as citizens mm -hmm. did to those immigrant children. Yes. That should not have happened. As a country that was based on immigration, a country that is still mm -hmm. based on immigration mm -hmm. um, and immigrants that work the land, immigrants that um, help build our skyscrapers, immigrants that have brought so many cultures, oh, good. Oh, yes. Yes. Fields. To, yes. Um, yes, to our country. For us to treat immigrants like that is shameful. Mm -hmm. It's very shameful. And that's coming from a Native American that um, came from ancestors who saw immigrants coming to this country. Um, and to this day, I will not ever 
say that what Trump did at that southern border was the right thing to do mm -hmm. after seeing those children in those cages like that. And you've been in the military <laughs> and being able to go different places. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you you know, you've been able to see a lot. Yeah. So to be able to say that, that's powerful to me. Yeah. Oh, it is. With the experience that Because you, you would never think that would happen here in our country. Right. You would never think that we would treat children like that. Yeah. And there was thousands of children in those camps all along the border. And I'd be curious to know what happened to them right now. Where right. are they now 10 years later? You know, um, and what's scariest for me is, um, one, they don't speak the language. Mm -hmm. Um, and really what happened and do we, did we have people there that was, um, had the capacity to care for children? Did they have people there that was, or was it really ran by the military? Was it run by the border patrol? Was it run by the, the police that the federal agents, whatever those people are not capable of working with children in a mm -hmm. situation like that. So I'm really curious to see what did we do mentally to those children yeah, mentally. during that time. <clears throat> so granted that, um, you know, Biden and, and Trump, and I don't want to make it a political thing, um, is there a crisis at the border? Yes. Um, I think us as a country, we got so many smart, intelligent people in this country that we should be able to come up with a solution. A solution. Mm -hmm. That's right. A solution. Yeah. And it shouldn't be sides. It shouldn't be independent versus Democrat. If they Democrat ever do away with them parties, yes. if they ever do away with them parties and you vote for who the best person is mm -hmm. for, I think the change will come. Mm -hmm. And until we do away with these parties, because people are together. voting yeah. just based on a party. And you've seen that locally. Oh, yeah. You've so seen that that. They don't hard. even know. But mm -hmm. you, to me, if you study... And you research what is going on. You cannot defend a person that has just done wrong. And tell me you're a Christian. I listen, listen to I'm me. Done. This is what I'm but, talking about. People stick on because they they like this person because it fit them. It fit what they believe. But they don't see the big impact in other people, what they're doing, particularly this person, because he has power. It was everything. It come legally to America. It doesn't have to be in, in, in Mexico. And the drugs have been here. Oh, my uh, drugs was here before we were here. Exactly. Yes. Actually, when this country people came, it was no paperwork. They came, and they take was, it from you guys. They, they just came. On, yeah. So we cannot Schools. say Mexican and people come. We African, we fly. We don't cross, you know, African came. They force us to come here. On boats. On boats. We don't want to come. They force us to be here. You were immigrants, okay. right? We 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 didn't need the paper. They forced us to come here. Okay. So people, you are this is their home. When they came, they bully, they take away from them. Nobody asked them the paperwork for them. Mm -hmm. So we cannot say everybody come from Mexico, they bring drugs. And that's no. the fault of Trump. No, no I he, hope not. No. I mean that's been Oh yeah, no. From the beginning. Not. I don't. Because I'm not saying that the way he treating Agnes. What you don't see is he's affecting a lot of people. He is. He say that I I will be dictator to build the world like Hitler. What Hitler did is not okay to take one million people. Do lives. you think that each of the president are perfect? No, no, no. no, we're not, perfect. no. But. In each president, what I see to them is always, okay, what they have done. It's not all the words, but the actions. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah. and the I, might be, I might be, I mean, there's a lot of stuff also that President Trump, I don't like. Mm -hmm. Of course, some of his policy, I don't like. I'm glad some, of the, some of the president we have right now. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not always and that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. I I I and that's yeah. for all the presidents. That's right. I agree. That's right. Yes, definitely. Some I'm not one hundred ten percent for him. I'm not one hundred five percent for him. I mean, you know, I see. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Yes, mm -hmm. all the past we have corruption. Mm -hmm. But what we see right now, we are in this generation, we speak of now going forward for the future. Like we can reverse the past. We can reverse to make it better. But now if we let that happen what the past has happened and we let that now dictate 
in the next generation, we have to take a look at who are we voting, who are we listening to. This is very important. I get that. All the president did, we everywhere, even my country, everywhere, we know that. But now we're speaking of the country we are living, mm -hmm. right? And we are this, the future president he's running for. We have to listen to what he's saying. What he's saying is going to become his action. That's the fact. What we think, we become work. We speak up, we take an action. So if we don't take a look at that, that's going to be issues. You know what I want, know that. You know what I want to see in the future is, okay, whoever is sitting right now, let's say we have President Biden right now, and this is, policy, this is his policy, right? Let's take a look what kind of policy is that is working. And whoever is the next, exactly. take that. And whatever is not working, you delete that and, okay, exactly. what shall we do? And not to and that is exactly that. how I think we all want that. Mm -hmm. We all want that. And I think um, our elected officials at all levels right. need to work on getting the people what they want. Yeah, and that's instead of tearing down, instead of tearing you're taking down, you yeah. build on. Yeah, it's some not stuff you can't you... get you you got, but you gotta look when you gotta look for the people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We the people of mm -hmm. the United States. We forgot all about the, the constitution. Mm -hmm. It's out. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it every, all matter. of that is gone. It doesn't matter yeah. that now you, you won the the election. Okay, now mm -hmm. you have the power that you you just take it away all this policy, and then you wanted to put your let's work together. Man, mm -hmm. let's work yeah. together. Our House of Representatives, mm -hmm. our our senators, they all need to work together. And that to me all should have a term Congress. time limit. Term limit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I'm gonna grace with that. You yeah. know, why is there a 75 year old guy walking into Congress with his dang <laughs> oxygen tank? Mm -hmm. He's not in touch with the what? twenty year old who's starting out in the business world and trying to pay right. their student loans, trying to get medical coverage, trying to raise a family. He is long out of that. You know what I mean? We as American people and those listening, we got the power to do that. And yeah. we need to get we do we need to. We really we do. We, really do. we have to take a look mm. like everybody's affecting. Mm. You know, you might be rich, you might have things going on for you. And, but so many people is, is not. And the president we have right now is not working. Okay, who are we selecting the next one? What they are saying is very important for us to observe and to listen, not be biased because you like this person because it's fitting with See, your that's tax. The thing. That's the that's word, that, the action that they did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the tax, oh, yeah. oh it's, it's fitting me. So I'm, I'm, if I vote for him, he's going to help me. What about the others? Right. What, so how he's building this this country, you know? It just mm -hmm. we really and that's where I think it's important when we're talking about civil rights. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people worked hard to get where they're at. Um, you know, just Native Americans. We didn't become citizens until 1924. That is crazy to me. 1924, Native Americans became citizens of this country, and it was only because. There was a large number of Native Americans that enlisted for World War. Right. That's why That's we got reason. our citizenship. Mm -hmm. And they've been, Native Americans been the highest per capita in any ethnic group to serve mm -hmm. since World War II. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we continue to serve this country. Um, wow. We continue to protect it. Even when people say, you know, obviously you guys know I serve too. You know, why would you protect a, line, uh, a country that treated you guys so bad? Mm -hmm. Because it's still our land. Yeah. Yeah, it's, still, mm -hmm. it's still our land. We want to make it good for our children. You know, as everybody out there should want to make it better for your children. Yeah. You know, in order to do that, we all got to have equal rights. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. all got to have the same opportunity at an education, at a good paying job, at medical care. I mean, that's what it comes down to. It, it and when the civil rights movement came along, that's what it was about. Mm -hmm. They just wanted an equal opportunity like everybody else, yep. you know? And I think that's why I um, admire Martha Luther King Jr. Um, is because he had that um, that voice mm -hmm. where it makes you, he draws you in and mm -hmm. makes you want to listen to what he had to say. His I have a dream speech. Is probably well it's known, almost powerful. better than the mm -hmm. um, Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Right. Which I had that on a plate at home. 
that sits out because that was a powerful speech mm -hmm. at that moment in time. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream was a powerful speech at that moment in time. Which we got, you teaching it from generation to generation. Generation to generation. Because all they was asking, but looking at the movement focused on expanding opportunity so things wouldn't happen again. Mm -hmm. That's all we wanted. We don't want it to reverse fast. We want everybody to have opportunity. I want my grandchild to have the same opportunity as Diana's yes. grandchild when they go to school. Yeah. Why can't they walk hand in hand? Why can't they? You know? Mm -hmm. When you say that, I'm going to go with one of the ones that I was looking at, which was recent um, with the Texas law, talking about abortion, the reproduction. Oh, yeah. Mm. And this is an argument that I will argue to the day I'm gone. Mm. How can a man dictate what can be done to my body? Mm -hmm. How? I'm in agreement. Yes. You know, I may not be for abortion. Mm -hmm. I got no business telling you what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's your choice because I don't know what's going on. And that reproduction. Has reasoning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a different reason of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, but speaking on that, Diana, there was a case that was just last week. Is that Katie what you're going to touch on? Katie Cox. Yeah. 31 years old in Texas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, she was pregnant to end her pregnancy mm -hmm. due to. Um, some, something with the fetus. Her fetus yes. had been diagnosed with a rare and deadly genetic condition. Mm -hmm. But it puts her life at danger too. You know, so to me, as as um, as a mother, um, and that was my, my daughter going through that, I would recommend to her to have an abortion. The child won't make it or she won't make it. Why would I, why should I lose two? Mm -hmm. You know, that should um, be their decision. Is, but it's got to be their decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're I'm right. Sorry. And I, yeah, it, and it's difficult. Um, now, other cases, would I be like that? No. But Again, case by case. Case by yeah. case. Yeah. But still, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter for me to, to say yes, no, yes, no. It should be up to that person. Mm -hmm. Just like everything else, you know. And in, in saying that, the reproduction, there is um, hospitals where the babies could be left, you know, to be adopted, right? Mm -hmm. So they go to be adopted, and then they wind up going to these homes that they abused. Mm -hmm. They get mental illness. They start killing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, to me, people just think one thing. They don't think the whole yeah, broad the picture second of how the third this... echelon effects of something. Mm -hmm. Right now, in um, just our our community alone, we don't have enough foster parents for the children in foster care right now. Um, we have to send out our children in the community out to other mm -hmm. communities because we don't have the foster care here. Mm -hmm. And what that does, in my opinion, it removes that opportunity for that child to reconnect with their family that's here. You know, there's no probably greater goal than somebody to reconnect families. And then that opportunity is taken away. But you're right. It's because, you know, whether a mother can't take care of the child at the moment. Um, some people take a little longer to mature at that point. But sometimes you remove that opportunity for them to get together, all together, you know, where they don't have an opportunity. But you're right. If they're not thinking of those second or third echelon effects, once mm -hmm. that child is born to a mother that can't care for a child, that child then is bouncing around. Mm -hmm. Whether a family can take them, hopefully family can take them. But if not, they could be going from foster mm -hmm. home to foster home. Mm -hmm. And you know what they travel? Foster kids travel home to home in? Yes. A trash bag. Can you imagine telling a child a black put, trash bag? Put their stuff in a bag to carry to the next one. It's sad. I, it's sad. I, I truly, I feel bad. This is why I this. tell people all the time. When you look at politics, you better go all the way. You, you better go deep. Dig in. this stuff is, is yeah. it, it ain't surface level. No. It's mm -hmm. just that's a black true. trash bag. Can you just imagine? That's where you see them. Yeah. And I mean, I know they have a organization that try to collect suitcases. Suitcases for them. Stuff for them. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so then they go get have mental health. Then they probably started selling drugs because mm -hmm. they're trying to find a way. Yeah. Then they started robbing and they started killing and they're in jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the reason it's very important to look not only your shoes and your good situation for other people. 
and you have to have empathy. If it was you, what you will do? You see, that's is when it comes to politics, we have politics that you are this group, you are that group. Sit back and see what is really going on around the world. Just don't go by, this is my belief system. This is what I believe. You know, this is most of the time we do that. This is my belief system. This is what I do. But what is your belief system is doing to others? And what happens if it happens to you or your like, family? Yeah, exactly. If it's you know, opposite, that's what I tell said, you better be careful because that same scenario can come can back. Flip. Yeah, it can like table. It can change rock. anytime. Then that's the reason you have to really like take a look deep into like say, okay, this is what my group believes say. But what is my heart say? What is the right thing to do? But we don't have that these days. Everybody, it seems like everybody is fighting for power, for something that is destroying everybody mm -hmm. else. Well, I think um, when you say, you know, fighting for power, I think um, when it comes to civil rights, mm -hmm. you have to. Oh, I, I, I you have, have to fight for, for oh, power. Oh, oh. When you, you have you're absolutely to fight right, for, for uh, the Raquel. right to be... Um, Equal, you absolutely. I am with table. you one hundred percent. The people fight for the right to be equal. If True. you look, you speak and like Uncle and Martin, you and uh, Magandhi, and so many people fight for their right, but they gave life in time. No, I'm with mm -hmm. you with that. Yeah, and it's not just fighting for a, a seat at the table. Right. Mm -mm. You got to fight for a voice at the table. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, right now, um, the Secretary of Interior is um, the first Native elected to that position. You know, the Secretary of Interior is the one who governs federal land. The reservations that the Natives are living off of, they just elected the first Native to run that. Here we are. That's good. Nine, in the 2024. Two, which is about time. reservations been around for hundreds of years. years. So what I'm saying, like, do what and, you guys say. So we got a voice now. Yeah, but the I'm thing saying. about it is, is it the first time that one ran? No. It's not. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But, at but least we didn't get the right to vote until 1965. Yeah. So we have we need a voice at the table for everybody. Everybody. Everybody, everybody, everybody every needs color. to have a voice. Mm -hmm. So everybody. I'm, I'm glad you say that, uh, Raquel, this is civil right and the right. Do you really, I'm asking you guys, do you really believe that America is built by an honest and um, like it's built by immigrants? But you guys were here. The people even came. They take over. What do you guys will say America is built by? But now they say that we don't want nobody except if you're not this particular this race. I think I know the word that you're looking so for. What's... Is, it, is it corruption? Corruption. Yeah. 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 Do you and then, I think on that one there, when you talk about corruption of government, um, it happens all over the world when it talks about corruption of oh, government. Yeah. And so I think the, um, the United States is no different. Mm -hmm. I really think we are no different. And what know? we used to be, right? It's and worse. It started like that. Agnes, mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah. it started like that. What's that? It started yeah. with corruption. They came, they take you length. And then mm -hmm. they, they didn't give you your paper, but this is your home. Mm -hmm. It started with corruption. It started like you seem like it's ghoulies and you go to somebody's house and now it's my house. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do as I say. And that's why it's important for us to talk about these issues and continue to give the right to the people. Um, so as a Native, my voice would be, I want to make sure my generation has the opportunity to do what my grandmother couldn't do. Mm -hmm. You know, I want every generation to have that opportunity. If a child of a color, of a certain religion, of a disability, you name it, um, I want that child to have the opportunity like any other child. Absolutely. And I think that's what it comes down to when you're talking about civil rights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now I'll, I'll be terrified if it ever reverted back because my grandmother wasn't allowed to go into a bar because she was Native American. My grandmother, I'm one generation removed from right. that. Mm -hmm. My school 
in the early 70s um, was desegregated and they closed down our school and our neighborhood. Buses pulled up and picked us up to drop us off at all the other schools. Me and my sister didn't go to the same school mm -hmm. because there were allocations on how many and what grades could go to each of the other schools. You know, and to me, the people who did that should have thought about first, let's just kind of switching between that school and another school and mixing that in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of shutting down the one school that was um, for minorities, I and mean, it was mostly Native and Black at the time, um, shut that school down and then bus out so there's only one or two in each of the other elementary schools. So to me, that's where it comes to when you're talking about civil rights, that person should have looked at that and seen how it was going to affect those children. You know, how was it going to affect, you know, um, second grade me going to a school where I'm used to seeing nothing but brown mm -hmm. people and I'm the only brown one and how that um, felt for me as a child. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about civil rights, that should all be taken in consideration. Make sure it's equal and fair mm -hmm. is all I'm asking. Equal and fair when something's done. That, that, mm -hmm. If that happened, it would be great. But we know that when I say power for the people that they don't want everybody to have equal, mm -hmm. equal opportunity, equal power. They don't. That's why it's very important. <laughs> Even the right, you know, for freedom of worship. You know, they're, they're a fight on that. Oh my goodness, they're, they're, that's great. Really that's what that's what I mean. It's uh, we'd like to say stuff is equal and there's equal opportunity, but there's mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. There's not. We got moms that are getting bombed right now. Mm -hmm. Right. You why? Know, this year, 2023. Why? That's right. I, I that's what I don't understand. Someone's practicing their religion. You know, I'm glad. Them? Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead I'm glad that in my country we have this, uh, you know, freedom of religion, mm -hmm. a freedom that we can come over here that they don't know. You cannot. Yeah. Where? Well, and here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, mm -hmm. If you live there, you can go any, anywhere. So, you know, not, visa, not, not but, for everybody. Um, but now it seems like, though, we are of a shortage of nurses over there and uh, teachers, but no. because it pays too small. Of course, they, they still, these nurses and teachers, you know, they're, they're still being forced, you know, mm -hmm. not, not being forced from the government, but themselves to come outside of the country oh. to make a, a decent living, living, a decent living. You mean Philippine to here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah. what I'm talking about is um, I'm glad that my country doesn't, you know, tell you to know. You can't go you anywhere. You can't practice your own. You oh, stay yeah. here. But yeah, mm -hmm. so we're glad that I know a lot of nurses, teachers, um, they're all over the place mm -hmm. for their family. They go out of the country for their family so they can send their children to school, make a better living, make a better life. Yeah. Yeah. So back do, in do your... they go, um, Agnes, so do they go through like all countries? So do they go, or is it United States? Or United they go States, to Europe? Canada, Europe. Oh, yeah. oh, got it. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like you, like you say, everybody should have equal spiritual um, practice mm -hmm. because this is what you believe. This is why I believe we can all, you know, and worship. Back then, they say they used to you know, Jewish, Christian, Islam. They used to worship. worship beside each other. Mm -hmm. And now Muslims mm -hmm. girl, they cover their hair. They they scared to cover to go to school. Mm -hmm. And because they've been teased. Also, been after nine eleven, 11 right? They, they automatically take, think that just because they're they have the own um oh, I just the name of it just went out of my head. And the hijab. The job. The job. Just because they have that they automatic assume that yeah, they was a part of, you know mm -hmm. I, it just it is amazes me that people automatically categorize, categorize, categorize you. Yeah, mm -hmm. for all like th this is crazy. People, that I'm Muslim, right? Mm -hmm. I I never covered my hair. 
never. When I pray, I meditate, I do. I go, mm -hmm. and then that's how I pray. But people, they don't see me covering because I never had, even when I was little. And mm -hmm. I grow up in community that somewhere, some they don't. Mm -hmm. And no, my family, they never, and my dad never said you have to wear, but he was imam. So pe people think every Muslim that they don't even, you don't know which one is Muslim. Mm -hmm. You don't even really don't. You, you know what I'm saying? Because now you cover some people, some women, they mm -hmm. want to cover. So, so many Christians back home, they cover their hair. Mm -hmm. When you go to Orthodox church, you have to cover your hair. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say, not all, all Muslim people, they mm -hmm. are trying to blow people. Who right-minded? Who right-minded in the name of the creator? Put the bomb and blow himself up mm -hmm. and say, yeah, I'm going to go to heaven. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I, I, to yeah. me, even that is crazy. It Why I have to blow myself to go to heaven? Mm -hmm. And I would um, definitely right. say um, from the United States standpoint on that, when it says, you know, the freedom of religion, you know, it's in our constitution, it's our amendment, mm -hmm. one of our, our, our rights, that it gives no other American or anybody else to violate someone else's religious Please. freedoms. Yeah. And when you are, are bombing or, or targeting um, a religious um, institution, such as a mosque, mm -hmm. that's what you're doing. You're violating that that's person's right. civil rights, civil liberties, and the right as an American mm -hmm. to practice freedom of their religion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. and if, if we tell the truth, and, and uh, if we speak of truth, not only Muslim people do that, that well, there are other terrorists that do. Them. You know what I'm saying? But we choose and we pick them. which one we want to talk about, mm -hmm. which one we want to tag and say, you know, but they are KK and killing people. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be Christians yes. yeah. right. and hate black people yeah. mm -hmm. to this day. To this very day. Yeah. So what I'm saying, like, we cannot just pick these people because you hate them so much. Mm -hmm. And they are just people that non Muslim yeah. do the same mm -hmm. thing. There's there's, I think there's extremists in every Within. organization. There's mm -hmm. those extremists that goes on because there's terror groups, terrorist groups yes. all across the all across the world. Yes, they're, even here, they're in Ireland, they're in the United States, they are in Africa, they're in mm -hmm. South America, they are all over. Mm -hmm. yes. But you should not um, categorize if that person has a certain faith. Blame it on that faith. Mm -hmm. If that person has a certain skin color, blame it on that skin color. Because um, when you look at all the terrorist activities that just happened this year, now that's a research project mm -hmm. for you guys. Look at how many terrorist activities happened this year. It's all across the world. It happens Everywhere. in France. It happens in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, like I mentioned before, South America, Asia, United States. Yeah. We've had our own here. We sure have. Um, and... I, I just feel that when you place that in categories and blame a whole population yeah. for that, you are wrong in mm -hmm. that. Yes. yes. For for doing that. Yeah. Um, but I think as Americans, and mm -hmm. I say Americans because everybody here is an American, mm -hmm. um, and the labels and titles, how they say African American, Native yeah. American, um, we're all Americans. Right. We need to get to that point where we can say we are. America. America. One. We are one. Yeah. Just we are one. Yeah. Remember when that Asian hate? What? Yes. Hate? Killing mm -hmm. people, killing our own people, go back to your country, you're doing the in their here. business. Yes. yes. I mean, and there's just too much hate. There's and that's what I don't like to see coming from any leaders. Hate. Hate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they that have bothers influence. me because yeah. that, that they do have an influence. Yeah. You know, you never know who's watching Should you. And they could take that thinking, oh, I'm going to support you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to support you by doing what you say. And I'm going to show that hate. Because mm -hmm. I've asked people, I've said, so you don't like that person. Tell me why. Because so-and-so, uh, no, I want to know why you don't like them. Mm -hmm. You don't know them. Yeah. And th this came back with Martin Luther King one year. Because I was like, I'm not working on Martin Luther King Day. That's my uncle. Right? Mm -hmm. So this girl got in this tizzy. I said, I want you to listen at his speech. So she came with me. I said, I'm a, we're going to sit together. you got to listen at his speech before you tell me that you don't like him because you just telling me because of his color, his skin. I said, and that's a shame. 
that's a beauty shame. There's so I, much more to a person than mm-hmm. that. Yes. yes. I'm, so much more. Mm-hmm. I'm and we still keep in touch with each other today, to this okay. day. Because now she don't even something. Um, work on Martin Luther King. She said, I'm not working on your uncle's birthday. Because <laughs> uh-huh. that's been a tease because his yeah. last name is King. <laughs> yeah. So Because I say, what you got? You got to listen at what he's saying. Yeah. This is why he want us to do. I love Malcolm X, too. But, I'm you know, I love that. him to... To, I would love I'm to have glad you said it was that. powerful to me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do I think we should take care of our own? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. It's going to start with that. Same. So I have a question. I'm glad you say about mm-hmm. Malcolm and uh, Martin. They both did great. They fight for what they believe, mm-hmm. for their right, for their mm-hmm. people, which mm-hmm. is we all do. You fight for right. Like you said, mm-hmm. you believe in fighting for civil rights, mm-hmm. for the right. Mm-hmm. They both did this. Uh, they want is the same for the black. And respectfully, I love what um, uh, Martin did. But at the same time, I love what he, where he's coming from, Malcolm X. He said, by any means necessary. Until this day, let's look the history what is happening to black. And a lot of people, they didn't agree with Malcolm because they said, by any means necessary. His father, he was killed mm-hmm. because his mother, she's white. Did you guys know that? His mm-hmm. mother, she was white. He mm-hmm. was mixed. So as I, as I say myself, black, we should celebrate Malcolm the same way we celebrate in uh, Martin, I, I really believe that they should give him that. I'm talking about from our black people. They should recognize date for him. Reason I believe when I look back, I, I observe uh, Martin, uh, Martin, they give him birth date because of a lot of majority people agree nonviolence. I, I get that. But he, they both fought for black people because the one that at the time it was mistreated. They were black people. So it was not equal right for all. That's what civil mm-hmm. right, right? Mm-hmm. And I believe that Malcolm should get that respect by our black people. They should recognize him also mm-hmm. because he did. But do they not? No, they don't they recognize him. They don't have a date, day for I mean, Oh, they want a date We just got Juneteenth not even two years ago, so we got to oh, figure, yeah. figure out how to get that in there. No, no, really, Malcolm X... Again, he said, by any means necessary. If someone comes to your house trying to kill you, you're going to sit there and watch. But guess what? These days, black people, they've been shot and killed like you don't, you, animals. You can't, like animals. So that's what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, I want to go back to what um, Diana said. You got to start within your own, too. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot, you know, uh, I, I'll use my, my Native people as an example. You got to want to do better for yourself and your children, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to want to um, do what's right for your family. You know, put away the guns. Put away the drugs. Put away the alcohol. You know, you got to start from your, your own, own community. Yeah. Your own community and build out where the, the, um, the strong, you are stronger together than you are alone. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and I think uh, Martin Luther King knew that. He knew he was stronger together. Together. So he had to bring in those politicians. Mm -hmm. He had to bring in those judges. He had to bring in those people that would help him make that difference. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's probably what set him apart from Malcolm. Malcolm. Again, I, I, the they both he did great. The they both mm-hmm. did great job. Mm-hmm. Like you say, you say perfectly, uh, Raquel, because he went to groom people and that they were disagreeing, showing them his different perspective. But when he come to Malcolm X, he experienced his own from his background. His dad was shot and killed, mm-hmm. burned. Okay, so he was fighting for his people. Because the one that was mistreated, they were black people. So this is my people that I have to protect. Because government, they will not agree with him. They were not, because he said, this is my family. They both did a great job. Like he just, he take, what I'm trying well, to say is, Malcolm, he should have by black people. I'm not saying everybody, government, <laughs> by black people, they should honor him. 
because he gave I'm his sure life. I'm sure he's a great man, but where do you draw the line? If you're going to give him one, I mean, what about him? Another right. black who did so good as well in his... No, it's the only two. They, they, um, there are so many die. Don't give me for that. But both, there's something is influence for the next generation to come. What I'm trying to say, Malcolm X, he deserved to be honored. There were other he, people also before who but had But even passed. before that, you know, when you think about um, Frederick Douglass. Yeah, Frederick Douglass. You too. know, Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many people that I get yeah, where I'm going to say, where do you draw the line at? Yeah. I, I, what do you mean? I was talking about Rosa Parks one day. I said, mm -hmm. if you really read it, Rosa wasn't the first one that gave mm -hmm. up the seat on no. the bus, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I agree with you with Harriet. Tell me, look, what's mm -hmm. look all that. So definitely, that's for us to do, though. Yeah, that's so what we saying. celebrate. Saying, uh -huh. I said, yeah. by black people. I'm not saying by sell, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. By black people. But that's why I'm saying it's going to start within. Your community. Our families, yeah. our community, yes. our mm -hmm. churches, mm -hmm. our schools, mm -hmm. Yes, you know, to really get that out. And I think once everybody is the same, and I think it comes down to education. You cannot just, you know, give a Raquel Panther day. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, what about? I'm not asking what the girl from a United States no, to do. I said, buy black people. I know, I got you. Okay, yeah, I, I, I got, got you. That. Yeah. We so we that. don't need lying for don't buy black people because I say again, I, uh, that's not coming from the Constitution. It's coming but from the black people. We definitely teach our culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, go back to that. Mm -hmm. And then teach every you know other people too. When you want to know teach. about them, we got to teach them. Yeah. I love. I still love your power. Mm -hmm. Because it's teaching the generations behind you of that. If you wouldn't have started, they now somebody's going to do it, mm -hmm. you know? So it's up to us you to gotta, make yeah, a start. It's up to you. We got to make a start. Oh, that's right. And, you know, how am I going to say this? In the, you know, long, how am I going to say this one? Once you, <laughs> I, I, I okay, hope you're not. Yeah, yeah they're gonna I want to you. continue mm -hmm. on to she, be, gonna, she becomes history. You, know, oh, I, you become history when you're, you know what I mean? When yes. you go behind the veil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's but, what you I'm know, saying. So I got to teach somebody. That's right. You know what I mean? So I'm bringing in younger people <laughs> that is, that's able to do that. Oh my gosh, guys, we have a little time. Great topic Great for topic, today. Yes. But um, thank you guys for being with us. Um, continue the topic, um, the conversation. Drop yes. it in our chat. Drop mm -hmm. it down Please there. Please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> like and share. We love you guys. Thank See you. you again. So. Hello, Comfort Voices of Sisterhood fans. We got some exciting news today. We are proud to announce our new partnership with Vegas Plus. Comfort Voices of Sisterhood to be aired on all of the platforms of Vegas Plus, primarily on the Vegas Live TV and Phil Am TV Network. What this means is Colorful Voices of Sisterhood will be aired seven times weekly on the linear channels, including but not limited to Roku, Amazon Fire TV, KGNG 26.8 Las Vegas, WCE TV, Vegas Live TV US, and now more importantly on the Vegas Plus Live Channel platform in Ampo Theater. Cheers to us. Yes. Cheers yes. many more to Thank you. Yes. New network, new friendship. Thanks to them, we did it. Media Versatility, we aim to provide comprehensive solutions to our clients. We have a team of experienced professionals who can help you with every aspect of your media needs. From documentation and marketing to promotion and more, we provide our clients with top-notch quality services. We understand that each client is unique and has specific needs. That's why our team works closely with you to understand your company and event goals and objectives. We are committed to providing the highest quality services in media and strive to exceed our clients' expectations. 
Our team is passionate about helping you reach your goals and making sure you get the best experience and results. If you're looking for a reliable business to help you with all your media needs, look no further than Lawmore Media Versatility. Contact us today to get started at 252-497-3817 or at www.lamore-photos.com. It's an LMV thing.